welcome to episode 20 of our Leaf Green Animized Nest Lock. Today we're going to be picking our Pokemon from the dojo that I had the show pull for in last episode, episode 19. I will leave a description for that or a card somewhere in the somewhere on the video, probably right about now. And we have a definitive result, actually. And a vote of 3 to 1, we got, not Loudry, but yeah, we did got, uh, get Porygon. People obviously want to see it. I personally was go uh, going for it as well, but I did not vote for it because that kind of skews the results. It's up to you guys. So I'm hap I'm honestly a little happy it went my way. Obviously, obviously we have to name it. And we will name you... They don't have a gender, so you kind of can go with whatever. Let me just quickly look it up. I Honestly, I have a bit of an issue with this word. No idea why, though. Uh, I'll silence my phone as well because I just realized it lay off the noise. Okay. We are going to name you Edge. That's not how you spell Edge. I just barely looked it up, too. That is how you spell Edge. It just looks weird in caps. So we're going to name it Edge. I mean, it has so many corners and edges to it, you might as well. It has been put in the box once. We need to go quickly get uh, get him back. Well, I guess we don't really have to, but what's the entire point of picking a Pokemon if you're not going to be using it? Anyway, for, that, uh, for today, we are going to be going through to uh, or through Yaku Tower. And no, I did not forget this time about the uh, team recap. I am simply going to decide whether to put it on a team or not, otherwise we'll have a bit of a redundancy. If it is on the team, it will be over uh, Dusc uh, Dusclops. But we will get to that in a second. Level 25. So it's a little lower leveled. It would be the lowest on our team. Trace is nice. Good moves, but I think I don't think I'm going to put it on the team now. I'll probably do a grind before 21. Before episode 21, and probably level it up for us. Kind of see how that goes. Also, we can't go Porygon 2. In fact, I think Porygon 2 is a fourth gen poke, anyway. I could be wrong, though, so don't quote me on that. But we will we will go through Stealth Co. and as I said, Team Recap time. So we have Dome, our Kabutops, the Emissary of our Lord, just Another joke, nothing to do with sacrilege. If you're religious, please forgive me for that. Not a sacrilegious comment. Casper, our Dusknor. Dizzy, who I actually need to uh, get healed up. Probably just use a super potion. But Dizzy, our Polyrath. Zoo Beast, our Shiny. Uh, Crobat, holding the black glasses for uh, to power up the bite. Sandy, our Sand Slash. And Harry, our Venonat. I know for the most of the last video, I did call it Venomoth. I'm sorry about that. So let me quickly just uh, run... Give it, not run, but let me quickly give it a super potion. I'm hoping this episode depends how it goes because I have a little bit of a time restraint today, regrettably, for this episode to be uh, uploaded and everything. But I'm hoping that we'll be able to get through the uh, South Co up to the uh, top floor and then in 21 we'll face Giovanni. Of course, that requires back checking for grinding, but what am I going to do? Just sit in the grass for half an hour? That is not something I think anyone would really like to see. So let's just get down to it. I may actually uh, speed up these battles uh, to save you guys from having to watch them all, unless they're good battles, I guess. That's kind of how I uh, how I see it. But then if I speed up the battles, then you know, then the video obviously would be shorter. And I really can't d define how long the video would be because I don't know how many battles or how long it would take. It just becomes a bit of an issue. We're at, we're at reasonable level though. I'm going to go Iron Tail. Does not connect regrettably. I have quite a lot of defense. I believe that's a defense move. Might be special defense. It throws me off, quite honestly, with the gen. Not having a physical special split yet. Like, it technically does, but then it doesn't. I mean, it has physical and special moves, but they're by typing. They're not by actual individual moves. So it does throw me off a little bit. I feel like ghost type would be a uh, special type. Uh, though. Let's get an absorb, see if we can't... Well, let's break through confusion first, and then let's get an absorb. Dang it. And I have good defense, but I don't have good enough defense to stop, you know, to take my own hit. I can't escape, so I guess any option I would have had to have uh, switched out to a more apt Pokemon is gone. Hopefully Absorb will do it, but I don't know if Absorb is physical special. I have a feeling it's special, and that pretty much backs up my thought of it being special. As it did pretty much Bupkis. 
Now, I am actually going to go Mud Shot because I feel like Graham would be a special, uh, a physical type. I can actually look this up. I don't know why I haven't yet. I'm only 21 episodes or 20 episodes in, and of course it misses. Oh, it's because it's le it levitates. I wasn't even thinking about levitate. But you know, at least it got rid of our mud shot. Ultimately, that's the best uh, best outcome. Actually, again, yeah, Zora would have been our best option, but you know. And I until luckily will connect the same time as the confusion breaks. So we should actually get level 28 right here. There we are. Attack on this thing is becoming monstrous. I'm not completely sure what that said, but I'm pretty sure it's not a ghost type. And it is a why not. It really kind of scares me, to be completely honest. It could do so many nasty things like a destiny bond. I'm just not, I'm not about I'm not about that. Well, at least I don't know. I'll be faster, so if I can take it out with one slash, then we'll be in good shape because there won't be any uh, counter or any uh, destiny bond there. And that was a crit too, which tells me it obviously wasn't going to happen. But it does blow its uh, second opportunity with mirror coat. You know, before I started up this Nuzlocke or the very ill-fated Soul Silver Nuzlocke. I had no idea why Wobbuffet was such a big deal in Nuzlocke, and now I have a little bit of a, uh, a pulse pounding experience every time I see one. Uh, I think that's a Whalmer. I believe that's what it said. I'm not completely sure, but you know we could probably take it. We have no, that's not. We don't have any electric moves, regrettably. Okay, I'm gonna stay in on it. I know it's kind of risky due to the rock typing. Oh no, that's not Whalmer. Well, got all hyped for nothing. I'm not even hyped, but I got all worried. However, submission out of Polyeth would have been better, but you know, it is what it is. Tokatik. You know, this time we're actually, uh, where are we? Uh, I, I meant to look, for, never mind. We should be in okay shape, though. I know it is a flying type, but I'm a ground type. It is a normal type, so I was going to... Yeah, I'll follow you, sure, why not? You're the only target on the field anyway, idiot. Now, I was also going to go for the... Uh, I was going to go for submission out of uh, Dizzy, but I decided against that. Okay, go ahead. There's a, the two moves that got off on me are completely useless. It it tells me to follow... Uh, it says follow me, which I get, okay? But it's the only one on the field. And then... <laughs> And then it gives me Encore on a move I was going to use anyway. You know, they have, a, they have Iron Punch, right? Or Iron Fist, I believe is what it's actually called. To power punch moves. I think that any uh, any cutting move, so basically Slash, uh, Psy Cut, uh, I mean Psycho Cut, uh, Cut itself, obviously. Uh, anything like uh, Scratch. Any of those, uh, there should be an, uh, an attribute for that, for like Scizor and uh, Kaboot Ops. Not an attribute, a, uh, there should be a, uh, crap ability for that. This makes sense to me. I mean, you have bladed hands, for heaven's sake. It's going to get slashed now, which is a little worse because it's uh, stab. But of course, Smurgle has such awful everything, really, that I'm not too worried about it. And it doesn't even get to use it, so that's great. Uh, that's great with me. I mean, worst comes to worst, I could have brought in Dusclops and it would have just pretty much, uh, struggled itself out effectively because it wouldn't be able to hit us. But that did not happen. I, I do find it a little funny though that we're actually battling through all these uh all these chains where I might be speeding it up. But you know, maybe if the battles are long enough then the speed up thing won't be an issue. Because it will still end up about half hour. Twenty minutes, half an hour, somewhere around there. We and there's so many deli birds in this uh LP, I have no idea how. But I mean I'm not complaining, I guess. I intel would be super effective on the ice typing. And we do take it out with the crit. That will get us to level 29, and I am very happy with that. What type of stat are we having now? Uh, in attack, I mean. Not just what type of stat in general. 77. Well, 77 HP and 77 attack. So we have a little bit of bulk, and the defense is pretty good. I think it might actually be uh, higher than Sandy's. At the, uh, or when Sandy was a level 29 as well. But Zigzagoon, I'm not too worried about. I'm just going to kind of stick in with it. It could learn belly jump, but I'm hoping it's not that real. And it's, and it's a it's a zigzagoon anyway. It's not even a line noon, so I don't even know if it gets belly jump by this point. But 
Well, good thing I'm not using electric tax. You know, even it's not even super effective on this thing, so I don't quite understand it. But it's whatever. Scrub brush has been taken down. Rich boy pie. Okay, I know that some of these plants do carry, uh, do have items in them. And this is kind of a time suck. I could come back anytime I want and look, and I think that's actually what I'll do if I even find it that important. I might not even take time to go do that, because most of the items in there are pretty common. I mean, I know the items should be randomized, but I, I don't know. Like, those type of items, I don't think I've ever really uh, considered those as hell, as a, as a set items or as randoms or anything like that, so I have no idea. I mean, I guess it could be like Pokeball items. I don't know how the game co uh, codes in this. I don't know if the randomizer uh, affects them or not. Bulbasaur, I'm not staying on this. I'll, I'll take... I'll stay on pretty much anything other than a grass type. It's just, it's insane to do that. Well, that's where I have this baby for. This should take it out. I mean, I'm only a bunch above it. I believe that's, what is that? That's 13 levels of, uh, above it. Hit him on top. You know what? I'll stay in. Why not? I can swing attack again, get this ball get the ball rolling a little faster. It could it could obviously have fake out and intimidate will be annoying, but I'm at such a high level over it, another thirteen uh, again thirteen levels that I'm not even too worried about the uh, drop right there. Ultimately it could have been worse if it had fake out, and I believe fake out's a third gen move. I'm a bit wacky on those type of moves, honestly. I've never really paid attention to when moves are introduced. So if I'm wrong about those I am very sorry. Oh yeah, this this is actually gonna take us a little longer than the uh, other places because they have these uh, puzzle, this puzzle. And I don't remember the uh, pattern of this puzzle. I'd rather have a spin puzzle like in the uh, Secret Hideout and in Giovanni's Gym. Spoiler: If you've never played the first or um, first gen or first gen remakes, but he has a spin puzzle. And honestly, why wouldn't you have played those games? Luckily, gas is are pretty fail. They can learn self-destructing explosion, I believe, which is a normal move, and it's also. Uh, Physical, I believe. Normal will be physical. I know it's physical when the uh, split actually happens. I'm not completely sure. Either way, I, I think I might have taken it all right. Let's go, just for the sake of speed, go into Sandy. Because an electric type doesn't like Sandy. Now, I don't have... Ironically, this the pure ground type has no ground moves. It has pretty much everything else. That could possibly, every other type it could possibly really find useful, but not ground. Raichu just exhibits its bulk right there by taking that, which most Pokemon won't. At level 29, it's still using the uh, Tail Whip. It does drop the defense, though. Don't really care. I mean, Swift is going to connect and take it out with the minus defense on its, or its minus defense. And that's a swimmer, huh? The scientists are swimmers, and the rocket and the uh, uniform rocket members are rich kids. I mean, very eclectic group that Team Rocket attracts. Found iron. Okay. You have three Pokemon as well. Haha. -ha. Gengar. I'm not really a fan of Gengar, to be completely honest. And what's more, it probably is going to hit me on the special side. And my special defense is not too fantastic. So I'm going to the Zoo Beast. 13 levels over, and I have Bite. Bite uses Confuse, right? Yeah. Where's, a, where's an untempo Pokemon when you... Well, honestly, I would, I'm would. i not that real. I would not go with an, un, an untempo Pokemon on a Gengar. Just thinking initially it's going to be running the uh, Confusion. Or not even running the Confusion, but using the Confusion first turn. But luckily, Dark Blast should be enough to take it out. Not enough, and that surprised me. Cause, that surprised me because Gengar is super delicate. In the uh, in all defense really and HP, things be built to be uh, fast and hit hard, but it's not. It's a glass. It's the definition of glass cannon. Look up glass cannon in a Pokemon dictionary, dictionary, and that would be it. It's going to use curse on me, so it's going to take itself out, but it's also going to do damage to me. Nice. Now, uh, now Dumb can kind of be put into the rotation. 
Alakazam. I think I might actually be faster though than Alakazam. Not 100% sure on that though. Speaking of, speaking of another glass cannon, this one would be right, this one would be right beside the uh, this would be right beside uh, Gengar and the glass cannon. It's uh it's funny though that this guy has both, and that was really stupid. I should have healed up. Oh crap. This could be it. Thank goodness it recovered. Thank goodness. Uh, um, uh, yeah, let's not do that again, huh? This is actually, that was, I'm a poison type. Survive it, survive it, survive it, survive it, survive it, survive it. Oh. And there goes Zoo Beast. Crap. I mean, I, there's other things I could have done, but it's the, that, that's the way it went, I guess. We've lost our longest member, uh, longest running member, and our uh, shiny Pokemon. Crap. I don't know why I brought this sucker out. No idea why. I mean, I'd say the confusion definitely set us up there, though. But you know what? That that was all. That was on me that I did that. I should take that all right. Of course it's going to do this to us. It's going to run and recover on us. Man. Now that... That, that was stupid. That, not even stupid. That was just very... That was stupid on my behalf to have uh, allowed Corvette in on that. Or just stay in on that. Okay, well, no psychic moves, and it's a coughing. We no ground moves again. We've already established that, but it's levitating anyway. But we will go into Sandy, just in case there's an explosion. I don't want to risk down. You know what? On the on the upside, though, we uh, we now have a we now have room for edge. Wow, we were on the top floor already, huh? Okay, well let's uh, let's go back and heal a Pokemon up. Plus, we have uh, one more to add to the death box. Well, the odds of us finding another shiny though are very low. I was speaking to one of my friends about one time we uh, got Zoo Beast, and he said that he's only found two. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna leave him with the. I'm gonna bury him with the dark glasses. I think you might as well have uh, dark glasses at a funeral, huh?
You know what? Now we're we're actually going to uh, we're actually going to empty the floors uh, numerically, and then we'll work on the puzzle next uh, next episode. So. Because uh, otherwise, I'm fighting through the puzzle, and we might not get all the battles, and it just becomes really complicated. Doing it that way. In fact, let me check. Well, first, that we're recording, but let me also check the uh, how we are on time. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to actually uh, wrap up kind of quickly. So I don't know exactly how to end this episode precisely. I will figure it out though in the next ten minutes. Because I say is about how much time I'd have. Man, and, you know the worst part about it is also that he wasn't even taken out. Like, uh, Dome was—I mean, uh, Zubis wasn't even taken out by like a uh, a leader or anything really tough. He was taken out by a dumb grunt with a remarkable Pokemon, but a, a grunt nevertheless. How he went down to like Giovanni, something like that. There's some, there's something in that, but no. Yeah, take that, my young. Magnemite. Ironically, I don't think the Magnemite family has ever had a Levitate uh, ability in the entirety of, uh, of Pokemon sensibilities. Oh, it's Meganium. Of course, it's Meganium. I misread it and think it's Magnemite. And I bring up the second worst possible thing I could have had on Meganium. Well, Harry, time for you to earn your keep, huh? Sadly, in the game has, I mean, uh, Harry has not gotten any uh, good moves. And, it, and that Meganium can synthesize uh, synthesis stalls. You know what Pokemon would have been really good to take out Meganium? Zubeast. So I got whopped. I, I, I'm not. No, I'm not about that. About this game. It's like, wow. Synthesis speed. Uh, synthesis healing itself is ridiculous. Well, there's a Razor Leaf. I was just going to say, well, I don't know what else it has, but obviously it goes Razor Leaf, which I'm cool with. I was actually about to bring in something that could actually hit it for something, you know, worthwhile, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm thinking. I don't believe Psybeam is a physical attack, so that, I don't believe, has any impact on the situation. I would hit the speed up button, but I'm honestly a bit gun shy about doing that right now. What with our uh, loss without speed up of Zoo Beast, which was, I it, it was all on me. I mishandled that fantastically. Ponita. Okay, Ponita. That's an easy two okay right there, and the defense or the speed drop. I mean, we were already faster, so it's kind of moot. Is fire going to be physical in this? I don't think so. Wow, uh, that that very much was uh, underwhelming. I was expecting it to finish up, but nope. Well, that will finish it off though. And no burn for us, even with that one ember. You know, it's still possible. He gives up, did you hear? Yeah, for a second I thought he was going to try to fight the uh, insect with the razor. With the razor, uh, razor's farms. Like fisticuff style. I understand that the puzzle is, uh, the puzzle is the only way to get to Giovanni, but I just, I want to be thorough and get, uh, battle everyone possible. Of course, that also means there's Pokeballs and everything. I think the next episode will probably be a lot to do with the uh, puzzle navigation. If 
fact, let's see what what do we have on time. Yeah, we can we can perhaps go a little longer. I'll make this episode a little longer than usual. A squirtle. Absorb. Even though I'm, even though I believe it's a special attack, so it wouldn't do too much. That doesn't. That's not an unreasonable amount. And it 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 retaliates with a app it's been not even a water gun. I don't like taking out squirrels. I don't know. Man that uh well, ask me shall receive, I suppose. Luckily that was must have been a crit the way that hit. Nope. I didn't quite catch what that was. Numble. Okay. Take this numble. I know that wasn't effective, but it seemed effective. For not being very effective, it was pretty effective. And there's the Amber again. I mean, I resisted down to a quarter, but the burn is always a worry for me. And I haven't even rotated with Dusclops. Uh, predominantly because Dusclops doesn't have any type of attacking moves. And how's Dome Learning Sand Attack at 31? Yeah, just I'm, I'm only doing this for the sake of speed. I mean, because Dusclops pretty much plays with its food before it eats it, so to speak. Lady, uh, Lady Bus shouldn't have too much defense, and I'm not not surprised by that. And it goes for the safeguard. Good thing I'm going to totally status you. Not anyway. There it goes. Man. Check. I mean, the way this is going, it looks like I'm going to uh, level up Dusclops and uh, pull it out at the same time. Okay, as I don't believe imposter is a thing yet, I'm going to manipulate this to uh, favor us. But how how best to do that's the question. Hmm. Here's how we'll do it. Go with a side beam. I mean, we're over its level for one, but let's see what it decides to go in. And we get a confusion. Very convenient for us. What's it going to be done with? Unless it hits itself in the face, I'm cool with that. Nope. That was a pretty cool animation, though. That should finish it up, though. I honestly don't know what Grudge does, so I'm a bit, bit worried about that. Oh, okay, it's Grudge's. I lost all of my uh, side beam. That is very unfortunate. Jill dude, now. I can handle the Jill dude. I could probably actually handle the Jill dude with Dome again, but honestly, this is turning into the Dome show. We're just going to do a surf, even though it is, uh, even if, it, even though it's a special move, I believe it's still four times effective. I'm not going to be argued with that. You're not going to argue with that, I should say. Floor five. Mantine. No electric moves to speak of. So, we're just going to have to brawl with this one. And there's the confusion.
That was all to go too close. I don't know why I say it's too close and then I'm, I stay in. Yeah, that was definitely too close. I know it's risky as it's a flying type, but I I see another bubble beam coming my way. Take down even better, it, honestly. It gives itself, I believe, recoil damage as well. We're going aerial lights just to encourage it to faint. There we are. And now we have a new 41. I believe. Yep. Nice and 41. Attack's not bad, but honestly, compared to like a boot ops, that's uh it's kinda of funny. I would use our own Kaboot Ops, but is it lower HP? And even though Absorb would take it out at four times effective, I'm not willing to risk that. Especially not after I losing just barely another Pokemon. And if it's the adversary of Dome, we probably don't want to be messing with it, huh? Anyway, submission that uh, we'll take it out. Electric. Going to Sandy for this one. I should have probably just went swift, but I think this, I mean, this does work out for us for the best. It might have static, though, which bothers me, because static affects ground types. I believe it still affects ground types in 6th gen, but I know you can't uh, have a move used on you to paralyze you. Or, I mean, uh, an electric move used on you in general, but, you know, to paralyze you. Kind of goes by extension. Iron Tail, can it connect again? Thank you very much. And this should take out Chikorita, because Chikorita is pretty not bulk. I think after this battle, as much as it, uh, as much as I'd rather not do it, I think I'll have to end the uh, the video after this. So I will just, uh, considering there's one Pokemon, I'll just go through this really uh, kind of kind of perfunctory style. Uh, just uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming and I appreciate your viewership and uh, continued support on this uh, series. It really does help me out and really I enjoy doing the series, so it's a win-win for me, honestly. But you know it's. So long as it's successful, I think I you guys can always expect a Nuzlocke on this channel. So if you haven't already, I do ask that you subscribe. If you enjoy what you see, obviously, why why not subscribe to a channel that you enjoy? And it also, like I said, helps my uh, helps show my, your support. Also, comment in the uh, comment in the uh, comment section if that's something you'd like to do. Share the video if you feel like someone else you know would enjoy it. And also, uh, go ahead and like this video up if you did like what you saw. I mean, I didn't particularly like it, but give me a pity like if you want for Zoo Beast. It's, it's really up to you guys. Anyway, I uh, thank you all for coming, and I will see you all next time.